This is the Anita copy machine from Elite. This one has the PID and the toggle switch is particularly good value. I am not a coffee expert, but let's make an excellent latte. Today on the Lolite Anita. The Anita has a built-in coffee grinder. I use Illy coffee and Here's a tip. While grinding, move the basket forwards and backwards like this. What you want to get is a full basket of coffee. The next thing that I would recommend is the Lalite proper tamper. This one is 57.3 millimeters. And let me show you why. When tamping, it's important to, that it fits exactly into the basket. It's more a matter of producing a good seal than a lot of pressure. What you're doing is sealing the edges of the coffee into the basket. Make sure that the steam wand is closed. Although another tip, if you ever want to reduce the pressure, you can open the steam wand a little bit and it will make a slightly lower pressure for the extraction. I really like these, these wide coffee cups by Utopia. Nine bars. Good coffee extraction. Done. The color of the coffee is caramel or cinnamon colored, exactly what you want. Now let's make the steam. Flip the switch up to the steam position. The PID starts heating up the internal boiler to make enough heat to make steam. You will need a small jug and chilled milk from the fridge. When the PID says steam and the amber indicator is on, you're ready to go. But a good test is to purge any water out of the steam wand. There's water. And now that's just steam. Start by frothing the top and then transition to this kind of shape and hold the jug. Eventually you'll get to the point where the jug is too hot to hold. That's roughly the right temperature for the milk. And don't forget to wipe the steam wand. I also purge the steam by putting the Anita to hot water and opening it up to clean the steam wand and put water back in the boiler. And the proof of the pudding is in its eating. Let's pour a delicious latte. There we are. The Anita from Lolite.